Welcome to part two of the video series on how to teach wonders lessons. In today's video, we will do a sample lesson, but before that, let's look at the principles that underlie teaching any wonders class. Structure overview. The structure of teaching wonders can be broken up into seven parts. We begin with a homework review of the homework that was assigned in the previous lesson. We then go on to a warm up. Reading the story is the third and most important step. After that, we go on to vocabulary and other exercises, followed by comprehension questions. Towards the end of the lesson, we assign the next time's homework. And finally, we end with a quick vocabulary review. So let's try a sample lesson. This lesson is from grade two of Wonders, and the previous class's homework was a crossword puzzle. Most students will print a hard copy of the lesson so they can read or write on it at home. I usually instruct students to send me a picture of their homework before class. If the student has done this, you can share your screen with their picture as you review their answers. If they didn't send you a picture, ask the student to answer the homework questions orally or give them authority to use the drawing tools in class in so they can complete the homework assignment, such as this puzzle, on their own. If they take a long time, it means they didn't practice or do their homework. If that's the case, don't spend a lot of time trying to help them. Ask them to continue practicing at home and then continue on to the lesson. Next is warm up. Depending on how much time you have, after the homework review, you can discuss some or all of the questions. In this case, our topic is friendship. And so the warm up questions, which are open ended questions to encourage conversation, include questions such as how do your friends help you? And how do you help others? Don't spend more than five minutes on the homework check and warm up. The next step is reading the story. Each section of wonders is introduced with an essential question. This helps connect the different stories around a common theme. For older students, I also point out and explain the genre. It's listed on the top of the page. Have all your students read and answer the essential question and then continue with the story. Listen to how the students pronounce all the words and correct them as they read. After the student finishes reading a page, make sure you review the meaning of each of the highlighted words and any additional words the student struggled with. For those which the child didn't know, it is helpful to write them and their meanings on your main screen. You could also ask additional open-ended questions about the pictures or story. For example, you can comment, poor little flap, how do you think he feels? This motivates the student to express themselves in their own words. This part of the lesson should take about five to six minutes, depending on the student's reading level. Once you're done with this stage, you can move on to the next, which is the exercises. Comprehension exercises test the child's understanding of what they have read. These include mainly closed ended questions, such as make connections questions, um, true or false, matching, vocabulary exercises. These parts should not take longer than eight minutes, 
But if a child is really struggling, you can adapt accordingly and skip some of the exercises. Open-ended comprehension questions are conversation exercises. They help the student analyze the story further and make them think about the character's actions. What did the character think? What did the character feel? In some cases, such as this lesson, questions such as, do you have any secrets? Are you afraid of anything? How do you deal with your fear? Encourage the students to apply the topic to their own life and use the concepts in conversation. This part should take about four minutes. When you're done, you can review the homework assignment by having the child read the homework, whether it's a question or a description, and making sure that they understand what is expected of them. In the remaining few minutes, end with a quick review of the story and or the new concepts learned. I hope you found this video series helpful. Teaching the Wonders books is an incredible experience and I hope you enjoy doing it. Bye-bye.